Hi, I'm Alana Wilson. I'm a program manager at Investment Agriculture Foundation. Today we're celebrating some farmland advantage projects that have been done up and down the Coxsila River. These projects are research and development projects that work with farmers to identify and enhance natural values on their lands. So for those of you who haven't met me in person, my name is Ione Smith and I've been working with Investment Agriculture Foundation on the Farmland Advantage program now for about a year and a half. We have had Wayne doing the planning advising work. We've had our ambassador Dave Tatum going around and talking to farmers. And LOD did a wonderful job at coordinating all the restoration work. So we have five farm families represented today. We have the Vandendungans, we've got Dave Tatum, Shelley Baum, we have the Westwicks, and we have one more Ridley Wilson who's not here today. So at the end of the meal, I'm gonna invite each um, family up to get their signs, which I you know, really appreciate. I do wanna acknowledge that all of the work that we've been doing is on uh, land of Cowichan tribes. But we will have members from the group here to come up throughout the meal and talk a little bit about the work that they're doing. And yeah, I just wanna thank everybody for really pulling, um, you know, it was post COVID and there's a lot going on, uh, but everybody really pulled together and did some amazing work. And it's quite a lot of, hectares of land and meters of streamside that were protected doing this work. So cheers to everybody in the room. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll invite Ken up to say a few words. I would like to thank each and every one of you for your participation in the work that's gone on. Personally, I've been doing salmon enhancement I started in about 78 and um, it evolved to the point where I had a rude awakening and an understanding that as man we're changing the earth in some really critical ways. A lot of the changes that we make to the land have a real strong influence on nature and in some instances takes away valuable habitat that's taken centuries and even millennia to develop. In the blink of an eye, as man, with our heavy machinery and our thought patterns, we quite often change the health of the land. This is where that thank you comes from, mostly on behalf of the salmon, because we're all working to look after streams and watersheds, valuable habitats. I'm really honored to be on Couch and Territory today to have Ken's words to remind us of where we are and what this land has been. The mandate of this work is to achieve watershed security for communities across the province. And that means that people have food to eat, clean water to drink, that there are healthy ecosystems that can sustain themselves, and that there are thriving economies that provide jobs for families to live a good life. We really have to collaborate in order to solve the many challenges that impact our watersheds. You know, whether you're specifically thinking about salmon or you're specifically thinking about water quality, we're all trying to figure out how we balance this for all the beings. And the only way we can do that is working together and collaboratively. So the work that Farmland Advantage is doing is just absolutely critical. And it's really wonderful to meet some of you face to face that have been participating in this. And I look forward to hopefully a long life of this really important work. Last year we had 28 farms participating across the province. And this year we have an additional 24 so far. And the way the program works is that we match farms that are in vulnerable watersheds with funding to do restoration work along riparian corridors on their farms. And in the interior, we're working in grasslands areas as well. And we pay for the, the restoration work itself, which is led by restoration partners such as LOD here and by other organizations in other watersheds. And then we also contract the farmers and we compensate them and on an annual basis so that they can maintain the riparian restoration work that's gone on. And that is called a Payment for Ecosystem Services Program. And it's fairly unique in British Columbia because usually what happens is that uh, 
non-governmental organizations or governmental organizations will come and do the riparian work and then leave. This program is different in that it honors and respects the farming community for the partners that they are in needing to do that work and also acknowledges that it's not a, a free ride, so to speak, to have to do that kind of work. So we're hoping that in that inaugural year, which these farms are part of, it will be the seed that gets planted and that hopefully proliferates and that more and more farms will come to the table and participate as the years go on. So I want to thank the farmers who are here today as the ambassadors for that first year, and I'm going to present them with their signs and embarrass them a little bit. The one on each side. <laughs> we, uh, I guess, we, we, we're from a farming family, but we're not actually active farmers anymore, so we're more in the vein of landowners. We're really proud to be part of any kind of program that helps our watershed. There seems to be very little that we can do, so what little we can, we're happy to. And please keep up the good work. It's really done well. Elodie's work at our place this year has been amazing. And uh, I, I hope you'll be able to help out a lot more. So, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what to say, really. That's, <laughs> it's a continuing issue, isn't it? We hope to keep the creek flowing. And water level high. <laughs> so we hope for rain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well thank you everyone for coming out and I just want to thank Elodie for all the nice work that she did and uh, patience in dealing with some of our crew that we had down there at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate the work that, that you guys are doing because uh, you know I grew up on this river and someday I hope my kids grow up on this river and any work that we can do to maintain it we should be doing. Thank you. And then I'd like to invite Dave Tadema for his sign. So Dave knows everyone um, and needs not really an introduction, but uh, I do want to give Dave a special acknowledgement for all the work that he did in the and the outreach for all the farms and the watershed and the pilot to get involved in this program. So thank you so much, Dave. Appreciate that. Thank you. Woo, that was heavy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'd like at this point, I also would like to thank Elodie for all the work that she did on my farm. The weather conditions weren't the greatest when you were doing the project. It was pretty wet. <laughs> and some of the people here, they recognize them too. But yeah, so thank you, Elodie. It was a lot of hard work that you did. For those of you who don't know Elodie, she's a bit of a magician in that she was somehow <laughs> magically able to uh, bring together a crew of people, workers from, it was KFS, is that right? Quad yeah, um, members of Cowichan tribes mostly who were able to come and work on the land and do the restoration work. And it was just incredible. It was a time when COVID was going through the community. It was really difficult to find labor generally and somehow Elodie <laughs> made it work. So I just want to give a special round of applause to Elodie for making it happen.